Richard Scarry's The Best Mistake Ever and Other Stories. The Best Mistake Ever. One day, Mother Cat wanted to clean the house. Huckle Cat wanted to help. He washed the dishes with too much soap. He dusted the dust all over the room. Huckle was no help at all. You can really help me by going to the store, said his mother. She made a shopping list. Here is what I need, she said. Butter, cream, apples, potatoes, and oranges. Huckle wanted to help. He ran to the store. But he forgot to take the shopping list. His friend Lowly Worm was at the store too. What is the matter, Huckle? asked Lowly. I'm not sure that I can remember what mother needs, said Huckle. Do not worry, I will help you, said Lowly. Butter. I think mother said butter, said Huckle. I bet it was peanut butter, said Lowly. He put a jar of peanut butter in the shopping cart. Now, let me see. Did she say cream, said Huckle. Ice cream. It must have been ice cream, said Lowly. Here is chocolate and here is vanilla. Huckle stopped at a big box of apples. Apples, he asked. Apple pie. Apple pie with ice cream is very good, said Lowly. Did she want potatoes, wondered Huckle. Better get potato chips. Everyone likes potato chips, said Lowly, and he pushed a big bag into the cart. I think we have everything, said Huckle. Just then, Mr. Fumble bumped into the oranges. Oranges rolled everywhere. Thank you, Mr. Fumble. I almost forgot the oranges, said Huckle. But Lowly had a better idea. Get orange soda, he said. You need something to drink with potato chips. Thanks, Lowly, said Huckle. We do need a good drink. Huckle paid for the food. I will help you take it home, said Lowly. Lowly opened the door for Huckle. Hello, mother, said Huckle. I got everything you wanted. Why, thank you, Huckle, his mother said. Then she unpacked the bags. Huckle, this is party food. I did not want these things. Just then the doorbell rang. It was Auntie Rose and her little girl, Lily. What a nice surprise, said Mother Cat. Auntie Rose looked at the table. Oh, she said, are you having a party? Mother Cat smiled. Why, yes, she said, just for you. Everyone had a good time. When the party was over, Mother Cat said, Huckle, you really are a big help. Your shopping was the best mistake ever. A visit to Mr. Fix-It. Huckle Cat was so happy. He had just bought the perfect Mother's Day present. A cuckoo cuckoo clock. Mother will love it, he said. Cuckoo went the clock. It was one o'clock. He put the clock in the basket of his bike. Then he set off for home as fast as he could go. Not so fast, said Lowly Worm. Slow down. But Huckle did not slow down. He turned the corner and crashed right into Postman Pig. Cuckoo went the clock.
Officer Murphy came right over. Oh no, the clock is broken, said Huckle. You are lucky that is all that is broken, said the police officer. You were going too fast, and you did not ring your bell. Huckle said, I'm sorry, but my bell is broken. Officer Murphy told Huckle to get his bell fixed. Huckle and Lowly went to Mr. Fix-It's store. Can you fix my bike bell and this cuckoo cuckoo clock? asked Huckle. Of course I can, said Mr. Fix-It. Come back in an hour and your bell and clock will be as good as new. Huckle and Lowly left the store. Mr. Fix-It set to work. He took the bell apart. He took the clock apart. Now, let me see, he said. When Huckle and Lowly came back, Mr. Fix-It had everything back together again. Oh, thank you, Mr. Fix-It, said Huckle. Glad to be of help, said Mr. Fix-It. Huckle could hardly wait to give his mother the clock. He got to his house and rang his bike bell. Cuckoo, cuckoo, went the bell. Huckle was very surprised. Then he gave the clock to his mother. Happy Mother's Day, he said. During, during, went the clock. Huckle was very surprised. So was his mother. What a wonderful clock, she said. I have never seen a cuckoo cuckoo clock that sounds like a bike bell. Thank you so much, Huckle. Huckle loved his new bike bell, too. There was not another one like it in busy town. He rushed off to thank Mr. Fixit for the mix-up. And when he turned the corner, he rang his bell. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Best friends. Huckle Cat and Lowly Worm were best friends. They did everything together. They walked to school together. They sat together. They always played together at playtime. At snack time every day, Huckle and Lowly got the milk and cookies for the class. Miss Honey was happy to have such good friends in her class. And after school, they played together at Huckle's house. But one morning, Huckle waited and waited for Lowly. Hurry, Huckle or you will be late for school, said Officer Murphy. Huckle ran to school. He hoped that Lowly was not sick. Today was Huckle's birthday. He wanted to show his birthday presents to Lowly after school. Huckle ran into his classroom. He was surprised to see Lowly. He was even more surprised to see Lowly sitting with Willie Rabbit. What is the matter? Are you mad at me? asked Huckle. But Lowly did not answer. He just giggled. Then Lowly whispered something to Willie, and they both giggled. Suddenly, Huckle felt sad. At playtime, Lowly was busy whispering to everyone, everyone but Huckle. Huckle felt even sadder. At snack time, Miss Honey said, Today, Lowly and Willie will get our snack. Huckle felt awful. This is the worst day of my life, he thought. Soon, Lowly and Willie came back. Surprise, said Lowly. 
They were carrying a birthday cake. The whole class sang happy birthday to Huckle. Then Huckle made a wish and blew out the candles. What was your wish? asked Lolly. I cannot tell you or it will not come true, said Huckle. Then Miss Honey cut the cake and everyone had a piece. Mmm, good, said Huckle. After school, Huckle and Lolly played with Huckle's new train set. This morning I was afraid that you did not want to be my best friend anymore, said Huckle. I will always be your best friend, said Lolly. Huckle was very happy. His birthday wish had come true. He and Lolly would always be best friends.